we've been telling him how proud we are, but this really of, of what he did, and but this really validates it and backs it up. He is a lovely boy. He's um, really full of fun, and he um, has got a great sense of humour. He's always um, enjoyed. Um, playing sports and um, my sister didn't want to be a football mum so when he was about four she gave him a cricket bat and said there's this great game you um, I'll throw a ball at you and you try and hit it and um, and that uh, just started his love for it he doesn't think that it's ever too cold to play cricket he doesn't like playing it in the rain, but I'd say that's probably the only weather conditions that aren't considered suitable for him. Um, he has tried to play it in the snow, um, but discovered balls don't bounce. He's even had us out there on New Year's Day playing cricket because he believes we should start the year as we mean to go on. Obviously, being a professional cricket player is his number one um, goal in life, probably his only goal in life. I think he, I don't think he could ever play enough of it, but he, his appetite for it is, is huge. It sort of came off the back of a school project um, and um, all the kind of lockdown learning and, and they were um, at school talking about um, fundraising and, um, and um, how you know people were um, doing altruistic things for, for others and so forth and um, Henry came home and said that he wanted to do a sponsored bowlathon. He produced flyers, went around all the neighbours and all that kind of thing and then obviously you know family kind of um, got involved with helping him raise funds as well. The weather at Easter wasn't great. It did snow at one point um, and he kept going. He roped in other boys from the club to keep wicket for him um, and he just bowled straight for 100 minutes uh, three days in a row. He was exhausted at the end of it. He said his shoulder ached a little bit um, but he, yeah, he'd raised over £2,000. One of the things that helped him raise quite a lot of the money was that people were impressed that he was 10 and that he was giving up his time um, to, to do it and it was his idea. He originally thought he'd raise £150. He feels really quite a big part of his cricket club now. The director of cricket came down the last day that he was bowling and he was given a certificate and stuff and he had no idea that that was going to happen and I think that his you know he's really um, pleased to feel a part of his club I think I rocked up and I was like well have I got news for you his eyes just went like sources and um, and it, he didn't really know what to say and he hasn't even asked me um, like if there's a physical prize or there was a trophy or there's anything it's he's not interested in that um, at all and I think what's very significant about it is that we've been telling him how proud we are but this really validates it and backs it up because your family are always going to say nice things to you aren't they so you know if you're 10 particularly